dissertation is on the interpersonal communication skills learned in Liberty University's Human Services and Counseling 508. Next. The course focused on four books, including How to Solve the People Puzzle by Dr. Melz Carbonell, Bridges, Not Walls by Dr. John Stewart, Listening, The Forgotten Skill by Madeline Burley Allen, and Why Don't We Listen Better by Dr. James Peterson. Next. What is interpersonal communication? Stewart defines communication as the continuous, complex, collaborative process of verbal and nonverbal meaning making. Communication becomes interpersonal as unique perceptions, unmeasurable feelings, responsive choices, and thoughtful reflections are shared. Next, my name is Barb Lutz. I was raised by supportive Christian parents who celebrated my achievements. I have a BS in food science from Penn State. I've been married for 28 years and am the mother of four children. I'm a research manager and I'm currently pursuing a master's degree in life coaching. Next, my overarching interpersonal communication goal is to honor God by building deep, authentic relationships with family and friends. As Stuart stated and I've experienced, there's a direct link between quality of communication and quality of life. Next, my overarching goal is made up of several composite goals. Understanding the four DISC personality traits and how my personality blend relates to others, inhaling and exhaling to enlarge conversations, taking personal responsibility, managing conflict, and being mindful of communication spirals. Next. The four personalities that make up the DISC model include the D or dominant personalities which are active and task focused. The I or influential personalities are active people focused. The S or steady personality type, which is reflective and people focused, and the C or compliant personalities, which are reflective and task focused. Understanding these personalities and the blends they create helps me to cultivate more meaningful conversations. Next, my personality blend is DC. The positive traits of my personality blend are that I take on and complete tasks, I'm appreciated for my confidence and technical skills, and I have clear vision. Negative traits that are beneficial for me to be aware of so that I can devise methods to overcome are that I am more task-oriented than people-oriented, and my goal oftentimes is to get the facts right rather than build relationships. Next, because I am task-oriented, I find it helpful to make a to-do list of the things that will help overcome my weaknesses. I should step out of my comfort zone, have fun, and laugh more. I should manage my expectations about control and perfection, and I should try to live authentically in the moment, focusing on forming close relationships. Next, an important aid in forming close relationships is understanding the metaphor of inhaling and exhaling that Stuart used to describe listening and talking. The inhaling metaphor reminded me of Genesis 2-7, which says, Then the Lord God formed a man from the dust of the ground, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and the man became a living being. To think of myself and others as containers of the breath of, the creator, of our Creator God helps me to develop an okay, okay attitude, which according to Burley Allen will help move me to the level one empathetic listening mode. Inhaling or listening empathetically involves understanding that perception takes a picture through a lens, not a window. We select or choose what we pay attention to, organize the information in a way that makes sense to us based on our own background, and then we make inferences based on the things we choose to pay attention to and how we organize the information. When I inhale, I want to practice being active and mindful of what is being communicated both verbally and non-verbally by listening in a non-judgmental, non-critical, and open with an open posture. I want to be careful not to interrupt, give advice, or try to fix other people's problems. Instead, I will focus on understanding and reflecting back clearly what I understand. Next, Stewart's metaphor of exhaling reminds me of James 1.19. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. Exhaling is about me allowing others to experience my being I realize that I need to be more mindful of the nonverbal messages I'm sending, and I want to be more proactive in thinking about how I can influence what happens next as I enlarge my conversations. I like the quote, 
You are an expert on what you think, how you feel, and why you've come to this place. If you think it or feel it, you are entitled to say it, and no one can legitimately contradict you. Speak for yourself and speak with power. Reflecting on this quote has aided me in selecting accurate words to express myself to others in a way that does not stir up defensiveness or argumentativeness. Next, taking personal responsibility for my willingness and ability to contribute to how a conversation unfolds rather than ignore it or run from it is important for me to do. As Peterson encourages, it's important to be assertive and state my desires and goals, but to be willing to negotiate and always remember to close the conversation by reiterating what was decided. In this way, everyone feels heard and valued. Next. I really enjoyed Dr. Peterson's theory of emotions and it has been very helpful for me to think of the, his illustrations when I and others are in a flat brain state. Instead of getting defensive and angry, I feel more patient and understanding. Dr. Peterson illustrates emotions as a round container analogous to our stomachs. The way we relate to others is depicted as a yin-yang symbol that represents our hearts. And the brain or thinking station fills our entire head like a big square. When a person becomes overwhelmed by emotions that have not been processed, the stomach bulges, pressing up on the heart, making it brick-like and, and making it difficult to relate to others. It also squashes up into the head and makes the brain squish into the top of the head, affecting the hearing, seeing, and thinking. And at the same time, the mouth opens wide, dispensing unrelatable flat brain thoughts and ideas. I often become flat brained, and so do the people I care most about. Peterson's book and illustrations have been quite helpful for improving our understanding of ourselves and each other. Next. Conflict management is a topic that I've avoided prior to this class. Remembering that we all get flat brains sometimes is beneficial. When I feel attacked or feel that thud, I, try, I will try to gulp down the urge to defend myself, clarify and reflect back what is heard and understood. Next, as Vertino encourages, it's okay to disagree. Not all problems will be or can be solved and it's a relief to know I don't have to fix everything. My last composite goal deals with understanding the power of communication spirals. As one person's actions magnify those of another, they pick up momentum that feeds back on itself. This is great if the spiral is a positive or generative one, but it's destructive if the spiral is a downward or degenerative one. To reverse a degenerative spiral, spiral do what comes unnaturally, enlist third party perspective, reaffirm the goals of the relationship, and meta-communicate. Next, potential barriers I face in meeting my goals are internal noise such as overcoming negative self-talk and all or nothing thinking about myself that affects my ability to listen with an okay, okay attitude and prevents level one listening. Personal pride is another barrier I face since I have a strong desire to give advice and problem solve for others rather than encourage and believe in them to find their own solutions and I have an overwhelming need to complete tasks. And this gets in the way of developing people skills and rich relationships. Next, my plan of action is to become a level one listener by developing an okay, okay attitude. I will write scripture verses on an index card that affirm and remind me of who I am in Christ and read them aloud daily for a month. I will eliminate judging and criticizing myself and others. I will add encourage others to my daily list of tasks. I will make the decision and complete the task of becoming an active level one listener. I will enjoy being in the moment and I will practice nexting by mindfully contributing to generative communication spirals. Next. So why is interpersonal communication so important? To quote Rob Nielsen, according to the mountain of available research, when a person feels heard, truly listened to and understood, the feelings created are so close to those of feeling loved that most people can't describe the difference. Next, equipped with tools that I did not have before this class, yet a bit overwhelmed with implementing multiple new concepts at once, I'm encouraged by Philippians 1.6 which says, being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. Next, 
As I apply the tools and techniques learned in this class, I will continue to grow closer to others and closer to God, improving my own quality of life, the lives of others, and honor God in the process.